Welcome or welcome back to this channel. Like always, I'll be drawing and talking. This time, same as the previous time, I only use five colors. Magenta, permanent yellow, aqua blue, and black and white. I use Tana Squash. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a color called Xiam. But I guess any bluish color will be working for this style. My intention of this style, using only 5 colors, is just to make smooth transition between different colors. Anyway, let's enjoy it. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how to keep improving. The reason why I've chosen this topic is because most people stop improving at a certain time of their life, mostly in their 30s or 40s. When you are younger, you have a teachers or boss, and they sometimes point out your errors or ask you to change your behavior to be a better person. But uh, as you get older, you gradually have to decide what you do or how to improve yourself. So after you become 30 or 40, your improvement is only up to you. If you are in your office right now, look around and look for somebody in his 40s or 50s. What do you think of them? Some of them might be really good, but some of them might be miserable. It's because of the ability to improve by himself. So, how you can keep improving by yourself? The key is the ability of looking at yourself objectively. As you know, it's easy to look at yourself subjectively, but in order to keep improving yourself almost forever, you have to look at yourself objectively. This is obvious. If every night you look back your day and what you did during the day objectively, you can change your behavior. And next day, you can become a little bit better, a little bit closer to your ideal self. This is not only about you. This is also about your work. For example, when you write, if you can read your writing objectively, it's easy to notice misspellings or wrong sentence structures. You can revise them into a much better one. This can be applied for anything. Since I'm learning languages, I always feel like improving my pronunciations. If I can listen to my voice objectively, it would be much easier to improve my pronunciation because I can notice the differences between my pronunciation and native speaker's pronunciations. So, let me explain how we can look at ourselves objectively. The answer is to make a habit or system in your life to look at yourself or your work repeatedly over and over the easiest way is to stay away from your work for a while. Let's say your boss asks you to make a presentation material. The first thing you have to do is just to complete the task about 90%. Then you should stay away from the task for a while, doing something else. After a while, you once again come back to the task and check it. Maybe this time, since uh, you can look at your task objectively, you notice something to improve. If you still some time, repeat this process, I mean stay away from the task once again, and come back again to check it and improve. If you repeat this cycle until the deadline, your presentation material is gonna be almost like perfect. You can apply this method even to yourself or to much longer improvement. Actually for me, this 
drawing video is one of them. I put my voice in English in this video. And、uh, when I edit this video, I have to listen to my own voice. And、uh, sometimes I notice wrong pronunciations or some intonations improve. This is one of the systems I've made to improve myself. So, you should make your own system in your life. If you make this system in your life, you can improve almost forever. But there's another thing I want to mention that be sensitive to small details. For example, if you write something and、uh, you want to improve your writing skill, every time you read your writing, don't overlook. Small discomforts. This can be said for anything. Since I'm a designer, when I design, sometimes I stay away from the task, like I said in this video, and come back later, look at my design, possibly objectively, and、uh, try to find some parts I feel uncomfortable. And try to find the cause of the uncomfortableness and、uh, eliminate it. It might be just a shape or some colors, but、uh, anyway, try to find it and try to eliminate it. And、uh, eventually, my work is gonna be acceptable to me. There's a possibility that nobody except me cares it, but、uh, it's my style. My design must be acceptable to me, not to others. This way, you can improve your characteristics or personality in your work. In the future, some people might admire you or your work. Nobody knows. But it's okay. It's your work. Anyway, let's summarize. In order to improve forever, you have to look at yourself objectively and don't overlook small details. If you find this convincing enough, let's do it from today on. I'm almost done this time. I realized that I have to be exploring more styles or more colors. Anyway, that's all today. If you like, let's enjoy drawing together. See you next time.